Hello there guys, my name is Fanoso and today I'm going to do a pretty quick tutorial on the uh, pixelation transition that I did in my coexistence edit. So let me just show it real quick, it's pretty easy. Just a little pixelation effect and then bang, just a shot. So I'll show you guys how to do this real quick, it's pretty easy and then my next tutorial will be the circle thingy as you guys called it in the comment section below which I thought was kind of funny. But anyways, so let's get straight into it as you can see right here. I didn't really preview it because I don't have that much time to do this tutorial but you can just kind of see the same type of effect and I added a bit more to it actually but let me just show you guys how to do this real quick so I'm just going to delete this adjustment layer and go on to these layers and delete the mosaic off them so what we're going to do is overlap these two layers for like 10 frames or something and have an um, opacity fade so I'll take off the opacity fades and everything and I'll just do everything from scratch so it's just actually I'll just delete this composition completely and we'll start this over Yes, okay, so first of all, just grab what you want your first clip to be, so this is my first clip right here. Go ahead and make it a new comp, and I'll just go to the part after it gets all the kills, whatever, and I want the transition to start here. Then what I'm going to do is type in mosaic, or mosaic, I don't know how to pronounce that word properly, it must be a different way, but you just go to horizontal blocks and type in 1280, and then for the vertical blocks, 720. Actually, no, for this clip, it's 1980, uh, 1920 by 1080. So if you have a 720p clip, do what, I, do what I just did, and if you have a 1080p clip, do what I'm doing right now. So keyframe both of these, and then go over 50 frames, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then you want to bring this to, so it's at the same ratio, so it doesn't look like it's just a different resolution. So we're going to bring this down to like uh, 100 to 100. So now you can see it looks really choppy, which is what we're kind of looking for. And what we're going to do is make a marker right here go back 20 frames and make another marker there. Okay, so now what we're going to do is bring this other clip underneath and now we're going to hit T for opacity on both the clips and we're going to fade this one in from zero. So go to the one, now we go to the mar one marker which is 20 frames away, bring this to zero and then bring this to 100. So now we can just trim this clip. Now what we can do is grab the mosaic um, keyframes we can just go ahead and easy ease them and go into the graph editor and I'm just going to hit this little squiggly line fit all graphs to view and what I'm going to do right now is just grab this and make it so that they can be they're pixelated for like a longer period of time if you know what I mean so it gets pixelated faster and then gradually it's more and more pixelated so now what I'm going to do with these keyframes just zoom out a little bit grab all of them control C so you copy them and now I'm going to hit I at the beginning of this um, layer and hit control V. So now we have the same keyframes, but it starts at 1920, which we don't want. So right click on the last on the last keyframe while they're all selected, keyframe assistant, time reverse keyframes. So now it starts at 100, which we will, is what we want. So yeah, so now it fades and has that cool little effect, but we're only half done now, so let me get into the next second part. So now what we're gonna do is go ahead and make a new adjustment layer. And you're gonna need FL, the FL Glow Pack, or I don't know what it's called, like Fruit Schmutz, it's, it's some German word. It's this one, um, Fish Lust. Yeah, but you're gonna need FL Mosaic Plane. So go ahead and put that on. Put the resolution down to zero. And we're gonna go uh, right at the very beginning of this one and keyframe the resolution at zero. Then add a one marker. We're gonna keep, put it up to 225-ish. And you're gonna be like, ew, that is disgusting. And if you put it on add, you'll be like, well, still pretty disgusting. <laughs> so what you're gonna do is go ahead and hit T for opacity and bring this down to 50. So now it just has a little bit of a gradient overlay effect. Now we're going to go over like uh, like 40 frames because we want it to fade out over a long, longer period of time. And then we're going to grab all these keyframes and go to graph uh, the... grab all these keyframes, easy ease them, and then go to the uh, graph editor and go ahead and just drag this one down like that. Like that. And then for this one you just want it to fade out just normally like that. Just like that. So there we go, and I'm sorry about the background noise. I don't know what my little brother's doing, but he's clearly pissing off my mom. Anyways, so now what we're gonna do is go ahead and type in um, star glow. Okay, so for the star glow, we're gonna do a different type of effect. As you can see, the star glow comes on and it looks kind of funky, I guess you'd say. Go to streak length and put this to like 500. Now, it looks kind of like an FL glow type of thing, which is what we want. So now we're going to go to star glow opacity, put it on zero, and then keyframe it, and go to the one marker, put it to 100, and then go to this 
marker over here and I put it down to zero. Okay, and then um, hit U and you're gonna easy ease these ones as well. You're gonna do the same type of path, um, graph editor like thing with these keyframes. So just like if I can uh, scale it up somehow so I can see only that. Oh wait. There we go. Okay. Just like that. And then this one just like something like something like that. Like something like gradual. And there we go. Now lastly what you're gonna do is you're gonna go in your effects and presets and type in FL glow. Perfect. And also you can change the star glow settings if you want, which I might actually do afterwards. So in FL Glow, you would just want to change, you can keep, um, like you can do whatever you want for FL Glow, but you can change it from standard to aberrative if you want, which makes it more like the same, co same color scheme as the star glow, which I'm going to do, and I'll just leave it like that. And then I'll put the radius up a little bit. Like not like that much, obviously, because that's kind of ugly, but I'll put it to like that. So you can see there's a big difference, right, with it on and off. And then go ahead and keyframe the amount at zero at the very beginning of this layer. Zero. And then go to the one marker, put it to one, and then go to the very end of the keyframes and put it back to zero. Then go ahead, what we can do once again is just drag all these, easy use them, and do this once again, do the exact same uh, color, no, no, not color, the exact same graph editor style thing, I guess you'd say. Graph editor graph, I guess. And yeah, so, that <clears throat> so then all that's done. Now what you can do is change the color sense a little bit in FL Glow and in um, Star Glow. So I'll just go ahead and change the Star Glow one because I'm not really a fan of that. So you can go into color map A and you can change the gradient and in B you can also change it. So for A I'm going to make it electric and for B I'll also make it electric. So now it maps over the same thing. Now what I might have to do is go into Star Glow or the FL Glow and there's, there's all these like uh, selection and color channel and if you want to enable this and since there's a lot of green which I don't really want I can just go ahead to the green and take it out just put it down a little bit just not too much because then if you put it too much it'll just be way too blue just maybe put it down to like 0 0.90 so now if I yeah if I put that back to one and stuff you can notice a tiny bit of a difference but it's not too big just maybe like shades the green a bit more which I want so yeah you can just play around the sand a little bit and that's just the base of it and I don't recommend using this transition unless it syncs with the song. If it doesn't sync with the song, it's just going to look hideous. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. It's a pretty easy effect that I came up with accidentally. I was making my color correction, and I was like, okay, uh, let's just go to effect, uh, flish, flish. And then uh, I went over FL Glow, and I saw the mosaic playing. And I was just like, oh, that could be cool. So yeah. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.